Start the clock. I'm Bob Jonquin. I'm the Green candidate in Kitchener-Conestoga. Kitchener-Conestoga is the, uh, the rural area around the urban core of Kitchener-Waterloo. It's the, uh, the three townships, Wellesley, Wilmot, and Woolwich, and um, a little chunk of Kitchener just to the west of fisher Hallman. So in that area there, you don't see the museums, you don't see the, uh, the installed artwork, you don't see the, uh, the public sculptures that you do in the downtown area. But what you do see in the rural areas is music, or I guess what you hear in the rural areas is music. I'm very fortunate to have married into a musical family. My father-in-law, Wim Russell, has been running uh, a series of Sunday evening concerts at the Amira Bandstand for the last five or six years. And I've been helping out with that. And he's an excellent example of, of how artists in, in Canada in general aren't able to make a living off their art. For years, um, my father-in-law worked at uh, B.F. Goodrich in, uh, in just downtown here on the, on the corner of uh, Victoria and King Street there. Um, you know, working hard every day, but then to express himself with his art, with his music, he would go out traveling tens, hundreds of, of uh, kilometers, miles back in those days, hundreds of miles to um, go to a, a little bar in, in some a uh, dark uh, corner of, of a, a small restaurant someplace and play country music. He's been writing country music for years and years and years. Uh, dozens and dozens of songs that have been covered by some other artists in the area. Other artists have made more money from his music than he has himself. In fact, he didn't start making uh, money off his, uh, his music until it was covered by another artist and he received some royalties. So. If we aren't able to fund our artists, we are losing out in, in culture here in Canada, in, in our musical culture, in our uh, visual arts, in, in our sculpture, because these artists aren't able to devote their full time making their art. So one of the things that the Green Party proposes to do is to have a guaranteed livable income. And usually we see that um, in, in terms of poverty relief, uh, food security, and, and just um, for, the, for the more underprivileged people in society. But really, it's for artists too. If an artist has a guaranteed livable income, they'll be able to devote their time to producing their art. And Canada as a whole will be richer for having the art available for people who would not otherwise be able to make it. So, I wanted to talk some about uh, free culture and, and copyright as well. Uh, copyright is a, is a horrible way of restricting how art and culture can be distributed to Canadians. Um, large companies generally, the mainstream uh, media companies, hold up um, any distribution and, and free dissemination of artwork, but I'll have to talk to you about that individually at the tables. Thank you.